Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, sister, for writing to our, our live session. You were asking how to be mentally strong and not be sensitive over small things and difficulties in life. Um, you're also wondering how not to let hardships take you away from worship and how not to panic in sudden situations like fighting. So that that's a good question. They're all good questions, and they all are related to one another, right? And a lot of it has to do with perspective and self-control. And I would highly suggest that you look at some of the things that have been difficult for you or things that you feel you have been sensitive about or things that you consider hardships that take you away from your worship. Write those down and look at them, okay? And inshallah, I want you to cross out the ones that are not really that important once you have contemplated them, right? Like, for instance, say that you have a difficulty you've identified, such as maybe getting up in the morning or getting up for Fajr prayer, okay? So that is very important to get up for Fajr prayer, right? But it's a small, it's a small difficulty in that it's, it's very manageable, right? So you could write out the steps of how you're going to overcome that. And that may include making dua, saying a prayer before you go to sleep that Allah assists you with this. You could set two or three alarms to wake up. You could provide yourself with a reward afterwards for doing it. There's many different ways to reinforce positive behavior, right? So this is a behavior and a situation that you view as a hardship Example, getting up in the morning, getting up for Fajr. And if you do it and you reward yourself and you make it a short-term step, like say, okay, I'm only going to get up for two mornings out of five, right? So once you do that, you build up to three mornings, four mornings, until you reach your goal of seven or five to get up. You know, Fajr obviously is seven, but anyhow, um... My point is, the more you practice something, the more that you do it, the more it becomes a habit, and it's easier to overcome in terms of hardship, right? The other, par the other part of your question, you know, could relate to things you may be going through, possibly in school. Say there's issues in school, or there's issues at home, or you're having hardships with studying or focusing um, those can be approached in the same way, right? Look at the ones that are truly important, right? And truly considered a hardship, correct? Like perhaps there's a hardship that takes you away from worship such as um, your telephone is going off or there's a hardship where um, you feel defeated or you feel... Like you just can't, you can't go through with the task, right? In those cases, you know, that's kind of like significant because it has to do with your emotional state of mind, possibly depression. So you do want to seek out mental health counseling for that. If that is a hardship that's preventing you from doing things or overcoming difficulties in your life. Now you did mention how not to panic in sudden situations like fighting. Um, I'm not really sure that I understand that correctly, so please forgive me. I'm going to do the best I can to address that. Um, it sounds like it may have to do with your fight or flight response, right? And that kind of comes from our amygdala, which is the most oldest part of our brain. And it causes feelings of fear, feelings of anxiety, feelings of panic um, when we're in dangerous situations. Say you're going to walk across the street and you almost get hit by a car. You get that, you know, that gasp and that sudden rush of adrenaline, right? That, that's to keep us safe. However, sometimes the amygdala and our fight or flight response kind of, you know, goes out of whack, right? And it overreacts and it becomes too sensitive to our surroundings and to the stimuli, right? So in that case, you can do, you know, many different things to help calm that down. 
and, and to deal with that. And some ways are like mindfulness, breathing, rationalizing the situation. Is it something to truly be afraid of and get panicky about, or is it not? And again, that will go back to the breath, right? If you're confronted with something, you're starting to get panicky, right? You can just, you know, take those few moments to breathe and think about it and ask yourself, is this a situation that calls for panic, right? Now, if you're getting panicky or feeling these feelings outside of situations that truly call for the danger response, then you may have anxiety or panic disorder, um, which again would, you know, necessitate you seeing a mental health specialist for an assessment and possibly ongoing counseling, you know, for to be able to address it and deal with it. Um, and there's many techniques and um, different therapeutic modalities that will help that will help you with this. Um, but if that's a situation, sister, you know, please do get counseling. As far as being too sensitive over small things, um, that will that will come with experience and learning and growth and and realizing what is small and then what is difficult, right? And again, it'll go down to you know making your lists of what it, what things are bothering you, what is truly considered to be a very difficult thing in life and what is not what is small right so you can eliminate the small things that will either pass in time or will not get bigger or really are not that significant cross those off your list and when you do that it'll have kind of like a, a mental effect on you in that it will inshallah reduce the burden on your mind about difficulties in life right because hopefully when you get done going through these mytho mythology, you will find that you only have a few things that you that are truly difficulties in life that you have to deal with instead of a whole bunch of things, right? Because right now they seem to be, you know, all lumped together. So sister, please do, you know, take the time to do some introspection. Um, look at your situations and the things that, you know, are causing panicky feelings and things that appear to be insurmountable. And... Look at your list. Cross off the ones that truly are not. Practice deep breathing. Um, practice, you know, staying in the moment and focusing on, you know, responding rather than reacting, right? And inshallah, that will cut down on feeling anxious. Also, if you are experiencing more than, you know, just panic sometimes or worrying about hardships or being sensitive You're experiencing more like depression or ongoing anxiety or ongoing panic please do see a therapist in your area for an assessment and ongoing counseling we wish you the best